What I'm going to show you on this video is a huge improvement for the HDR settings on this LG OLED. And this is going to work on the PC, on the consoles, on a Blu-ray, watching a movie, anything. This is going to affect everything. It is going to make a huge difference. So before I show you that, credit to this video goes to uh, Poly25. Poly underscore 25. On my Horizon Zero Dawn video, he mentioned, uh, hey, you should try mastering, try to change mastering peak from auto to 10,000 in this secret menu that we've been showing. And I tried that before. So you can read the you can read the comment. I tried that before and I and I thought, man, this is not working. So what you do is is this. You come here to the settings. So you just click here on the settings and you go to the secret menu that we we use a lot for HLG. You click um, you know 1113 111 and then you come down to mastering peak. So this should be on auto, okay? So the TV should automatically detect uh, what's going on, the HDR. But you see that it is not detecting that automatically. Look at this. It's a mess. <laughs> Look at all this white. It's a mess. So when you change it to 10,000, because this game is trying to output 10,000 nits, it gets fixed. You see? It's a huge difference. So the reason why I thought this is not working is because it, it doesn't happen automatically so it doesn't happen fast enough so when you when you change this so i was doing this okay let me see if this works i don't see any difference i don't see any difference <laughs> because you have to wait you have to wait so you have to so for example you have it here on auto let me show you a better a better shot you see the clouds here you cannot see anything so then i change it to 10,000 and wait a moment and see let me see if you can see it on the video yeah you can see it on the video I mean it's not the same as I can see it in front of me I am using black frame insertion so it is not that bright so it is more visible on the video but now you can see the clouds there's no clipping <laughs> there's no clipping so this works let me show you for this to work you have to use tone mapping off okay so this is awesome. Um, what I was uh, expecting is, okay, I'm gonna have to buy Kalman Home for LG to modify this uh, this thing. To, you know, so I can make, for example, I can change this HDR tone mapping, uh, the roll off point and the mastering peak and all of that. But I don't need to. <laughs> you, you just access that menu and you can change it. Of course, with Kalman Home for LG, you can do a lot more. But I didn't want to pay that much for that software just to do that. It's, it's too much money. It makes no sense. I'm not you know, getting paid for calibrating TVs or anything like that. So that is huge. man. So this does not work. Let me show you. This doesn't work with dynamic tone mapping on. So if I change it to dynamic tone mapping, boom, it, it clips everything. And you cannot see. It is only for off. So you click on and it's... It's going to clip. It's not working. It's only for off. HDR tone mapping off. So here's the thing. Uh, this doesn't work for every single game because I'm talking about the games that are trying to output 10,000 nits. Because, for example, I was trying God of War, and I have to I have to keep trying because maybe on the scenes that I am trying it is not making any difference but it seems like god of war and also uncharted are already set to 10,000 so the tv should uh the tv should be able to detect okay it's 10,000 and change the mastering peak but i don't see i don't see this making any difference there so it looks like on those games the tv is already in 10,000 nits so they look like crap. <laughs> so there's no, but this is a huge difference, man. For Horizon Zero Dawn, look at this. Clouds are perfect. It's a huge, huge difference. So I'm going to keep exploring 
uh, with this and of course if we have a game for example we have a uh, metro exodus for example instead of doing the the forcing limited trick that i'm doing uh, i can do just lower the black level and then change this master in pick the game is trying to do for example 2000 nits it's actually doing like 2100 but i could just lower the black level and do this okay or I have to try what, what gaming tech uh, discover for Metro Exodus specifically. That you have to change uh, <laughs> a command or something. It's like secret to get the HDR uh, working on Metro Exodus. It's, uh, it's insane. But yeah, you see that this works. This works. You change it from 2000 to 10,000 and you see that it works. It, it takes some time, but it works. Now you can see the sun. If I change it to auto, the sun is going to disappear. Because it, it's clipping. It's clipping. This is a huge improvement, but it takes time. The reason why I thought, man, this is not working is because usually I was used to... You know, you change from auto... You change from on. Dynamic top mapping on to off to HGIG. And you see the changes immediately. So I am here playing around with this and I see, okay, I see no difference. You have to wait a moment. So the other thing is, if this is working, this master in pick is working, this should be working too, this master in color. And probably by default is set to BT2020 this is D65. But just in case, this should be the setting. Uh, for this 10,000 nits games, this should be the settings. I've seen only very few games. I remember Hellblade that has the option between BT2020 and DC, in DCI-P3. So for example, on Hellblade, if you change, I have to test this on Hellblade, if you change here to BT2020, so when you select on the game BT2020, you see that the colors are desaturated because this TV doesn't cover BT2020 like that much. It's like 70 something percent. I don't remember. So when you change it to DCI-P3, it looks a lot more colorful and better. So I wonder if on Hellblade, if I change the game to BT2020 and I change this mastering color to BT2020 D65, I wonder if that is going to improve the color saturation. Not that that is going to be a better option. I just wonder if this is going to to have a good uh, impact. I don't see any difference here. I've been trying it. I change it back uh, to auto and I don't see any difference. Even if I wait a moment, I don't see it. But you know, to notice the color differences is a lot more difficult. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, this is awesome, man. Absolutely amazing. So what this max CLL is, is the maximum peak brightness of the game, which is 10,000 nits. I don't think this is working, but it might be. I just don't notice that. And the max fall is the average um, of peak brightness. I mean, the average brightness of the, of the images. You shouldn't touch this because there is no way you can know this unless you record a video and you process that with DaVinci Resolve to see this but this is gonna change depending on the scene, so I would not touch this uh, because I don't know what value to use. And then this Dolby VSV DB, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. I search on the internet. I haven't. I don't know the answer. If you know, tell me. Tell me what that is. And you know, we know the colorimetry in EOTF. So the colorimetry we know now is BD2020 for sure. So it's not gonna make any difference from BT2020 to auto. Okay, 709, that's, that is uh, SDR. That's the color space of SDR. So on HDR, you can have this in BT2020, it's not gonna make any difference. And the EOTF, we know that it is ST2084. So basically this menu, we shouldn't have to touch this menu at all. Because everything on auto should detect what's going on. But in this case, we see clearly that the TV is not detecting uh, the game is trying to output 10,000 nits but yeah the rest of it just keep it on auto but I'm gonna show you what I am the way I'm playing this game actually 
and this HDR looks very good it is nice but I am getting a hundred frames per second here rock solid and man I have to use black frame insertion <laughs> so oh, let me show you the in-game settings so you see that the game is looking fantastic let me show you the in-game uh, settings here um, uh, just 800 and 50 here and then the brightness in 50 percent but let me show you how i am playing the game i'm just turning off hdr and i am using the uh the trick the sdr hdr trick for black frame insertion because this looks just insane <laughs> with black frame insertion so what i do here is hdig screen brightness 46 force limited and then max out the SDR HDR slider on Windows just max out this slider here and there you go <laughs> so the clouds are not going to look as good as on HDR the clouds don't have that detail but it does have a higher uh, overall brightness so I can use black frame insertion and when I move the camera you know <laughs> I've made I've told I told you exa exactly how good this is it's just amazing it's like 263 frames per second <laughs> actually let's calculate how much is it let's calculate how much um, you know fluidity we have here calculated so we have 38 percent improvement so we have 100 frames per second so what that means that is 10 milliseconds of persistence some point hold and we have to calculate 38 percent of this uh, 10 percent of this 10 milliseconds so 10 milliseconds is 100 percent how much is 38 percent so we multiply 38 percent we multiply that by 10 and we divide that by 100 so that's 3.8 milliseconds of persistence with black from insertion motion pro high so 3.8 so what we do is we divide 1 by 3.8 and then multiply that by 1000 and this tells 1000 I forgot to 1 zero so this tells us <laughs> That what I'm doing here actually looks like 263 frames per second. <laughs> so HDR looks good, but if I can lock the frame rate to 100, this looks like 263 frames per second, bro. <laughs> yes. So yeah, HDR needs to really look good for me to go with HDR instead of with this option because this is just insane <laughs> so yeah let me know if you have any questions uh, I am very very happy and the clouds are not spectacular but I can see them it's not it's not that bad and if I want the clouds to look a little bit better maybe I can use this um, Nvidia filtering I can use this uh, white this brightness contrast filtering and I just hear the highlights so I lower the contrast and I can lower the highlights I can tweak this a little bit so the clouds I can tweak them and lower the highlights so if I increase this it blows out the, the clouds I can lower it may, maybe to minus 50% for example maybe but yeah I, I would not do that because it doesn't it doesn't look bad by default but that's something you can do but it's not gonna look better than HDR not at all so yeah let me know if you have any questions